Capricorns concerning the effects of this magical, powerful, full, cold moon in Cancer at the end of December 2018. How do these ripple effects continue to inform your life and your energy moving forward, Capricorns? Imagine, um, this will tell you what an amateur astrologer I am, but I imagine these energies were very potent for those of you who do identify with the sign of Capricorn, considering uh, you are directly opposite Cancer, right? That's, that's your opposite. So I'm excited to take a look. The Nine of Cups in reverse. It's what Sagittarius just had. Okay. Uh, but in this case, you're interacting with the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, so a lot of you are waiting on a message of love that is not coming right now. Yeah, you just you've just experienced a split, a breakup. Um, you've just parted ways from a, a significant significant partner of sorts, a significant someone in your life, Capricorns just recently and you are lacking some self-love currently because of because of the situation uh, you were really hoping for this to work out uh, you may have have had a strong hope and wish and desire that things would come back together or that you would hear from this person around this full moon in, in cancer um, and this person may have been For some of you, the split was recent. For others of you, the split was a long time past. It was long ago, but you've recently been revisiting uh, the pain of it, what this person meant to you, and, and you just got it in your head. You had a feeling that you would hear from them, and, and a message is not, is not coming in, not anytime soon. And you need to take care of yourselves. You get the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Four of Swords in reverse. You need to take care of yourselves at this time. Empress on the bottom of the deck. So especially, this especially is for those of you who are, those Capricorns who have a defi divine feminine counterpart on your mind. Or, or you know, just as equally uh, relevant for those of you who need to step into your divine feminine power. And it looks, it looks like you are moving toward this divine feminine energy, whether this is um, meeting an energy outside of yourself who um, fills that divine feminine role for you, or, or, or whether I'm talking about for, for a lot of others, owning your own divine feminine aspects, uh, your ability to nurture and to create and to birth creations into the world. Um, and it looks like what, what, what is needed above all else is nurturing yourself. This is a lack of self-love, Capricorns. And possibly that wish not coming true that you hoped you would hear from this person, uh, immediately following the split or the review of this, this split, this breakup, I'm getting both messages that, again, some of you just recently split with this person, others, it was a while ago, but you've been going over it again. And, and here's the message of love, the offering that is just not coming in anytime soon that you're hoping for, um, or were hoping for, perhaps. And I definitely think that the nurturing energy you're moving toward has a lot to do with nurturing self. When I see the Four of Swords in Reverse Capricorns, I always say I do not ignore this. If I ignore this energy, that's when I get sick um, in some sense, uh, normally manifests in, in physical illness. You need, uh, you need to show gratitude for what you do have. And I, I sense that that's really difficult for a lot of you. Um, in order to properly process this, what certainly feels like a, a, a definite loss to a lot of you, you really need to uh, go into solemn meditation and contemplation and show gratitude for, for what is in your life. No, this message isn't coming in from this person. No, this partnership is not coming back together 
not right now anyway you know i can't i can't say that it ever is but i can't say that it ever isn't with just a, a few cards spread here um and 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 with the reality of that being different for for all of you i am sure that for most of you it's just not meant to be but we will look at the at the uh advice here from the spirit song tarot the situation certainly requires yeah we have gratitude noted here again certainly requires uh A shift in perspective. Considering why you're in this space of solemn contemplation and meditation, asking yourself why your perception of this person and of this relationship and of this split is what it is. Because all is not what it seems when the moon card shows. Some of you have an imaginary perception of this individual, of this situation, especially those of you who the partnership actually split up long ago and you're just still reviewing it. By this time, you may be sacrificing self-care and self-love. Um... For what is not, you know, in the name of what is not actually a realistic perception of this person and situation. All is not what it seems. And maybe through deep, solemn, solemn meditation, in absolute solitude, not being influenced by friends, families, family members, your favorite reader anyone else but yourself, your own perception, your own memory, uh, and that and that solemn uh, meditation, perhaps there you can revisit uh, these these moments, uh, these these times, these these connections that you have with this person and see more realistically what it was and what it wasn't. Why did the partnership fall apart? Um, well why? Did you have yourself convinced that you would hear from this person? How did you have yourself convinced you would hear from this person? What qualities and traits about them did you think you saw that made you think, well, there's, they'll certainly get a hold of me, that it's evident or false are not part of who they are because they're not sending that message. Because all is not what it seems. Your perception of the situation is a little skewed. You have some, some light has been shed. You have some idea of who they are and of what happened. And some of what you, you are, what some of what you know is reality. But more meditation, more contemplation is required to get a better hold on, on what is actually happening. And, and at the same time that you go within and, and you can revisit these things and reshape um, your truth, get a hold of more what the closer to what the objective truth of this person and situation is, at the same time you will be uh, um, doing part of the, of the self-love that is required here for you for healing. Um, Capricorns, yep. Yeah. We need to we need to reconnect to logic, logic. Uh, the king of the king of air showing up for us there. We need to reconnect with with logic in this situation. Um, you were wanting this person, missing this person so badly, hoping for this message uh, so badly that you you just you've lost touch with reality just a little bit. I'm not. I don't mean to call you crazy. I don't mean to insult you, but you you we all do it. I keep saying that now. We all do it. Um, you just you've lost touch with 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 what really happened, who they really were. Again, especially for those of you um, who who are mulling over a partnership that actually split up long ago. And we really need to reconnect with, with the reality of the situation, Capricorns. Um, 
Yeah, definitely. And and in that space, in that space, as you're connecting closer to the truth and spending time alone and doing that meditation, that meditation is part of the self care that needs to happen with the nine of cups and the nine of or the four of swords and the nine of cups showing up in reverse. It needs to happen. Uh, you very well may fall ill if you don't allow time and space for that. But it's more than meditation. You also need to get into your body. Dance, sing, get into nature, be outside, exercise in some way, shape, or form. Um, the meditation will help with 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 showing love to your your mental aspects. Uh, we reviewed your physical aspects, but you also need to care for your emotional body, mind, body, and spirit. You really do. You need to show self love at this time instead of <sighs> waiting on a message that isn't coming, obsessing over the fact that it isn't showing up. Um, possibly, some of you are possibly. Uh, with a page of cups in reverse, uh, stalking. Some of you are are behind the scenes, are trying to check up on this person. You're waiting, maybe waiting to hear from them. Yes, but some of you are 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 obsessing over them rather rather than obsessing over yourself at a time when you really need it. You really need your attention right now, and you are you're combing through their facebook or whatever social media accounts or trying to find a way to figure out what they're doing and you need to worry about what you're doing and if it's not you if it's not you capricorns if you're like i don't do things like that uh then it's them yeah some physical comfort oh lots of physical confirmation there capricorns so for those of you who don't relate to that that, that aren't stalking them behind the scenes it's them and uh, maybe that maybe that helps you move forward here. They're not getting a hold of you. They're not reaching out because they have found some maybe sneaky way or maybe maybe not, but they found some way to check up on what you're doing, to hear about what you're doing, or to see what you're doing. Where they don't have to they don't have to communicate with you to know what you're up to. And again, that makes me return to who is this person really? You know what? How is your perception of them skewed? in the light of missing them and wanting them and remembering the best things about them uh, because uh, because that doesn't sound like a very attractive trait in someone to me anyway so i hope that that helps capricorns i hope that helps you move forward i hope you make very wise choices for yourself moving forward and i hope that this offers you some sort of insight something that you didn't have when you came to the reading i love you and i will post another tarot fix for you as soon as i can